The Alderson Ministerial Association is a uh, association in Alderson, West Virginia that is made up of uh, representatives from six churches in the Alderson area. Uh, most of the representatives are pastors, or some are retired pastors, uh, but we, uh, we uh, uh, operate uh, several different programs uh, of ministry in Alderson. The impact of the work of the Ministerial Association on the community, I think, is, is multifaceted and people don't realize uh, what goes on. The thrift store is really the heart of our organization as far as raising money. Uh, it's amazing uh, what we're able to do with the thrift store as far as generating uh, a stream of income that we then turn back into the community. Not only do we receive money that is then used to fund our food pantry and uh, our home repair projects and our benevolence outreach to the community, but the clothing itself stays here and it provides good affordable clothing to folks who otherwise may not be able to afford it or helps them to stay on their budget and not be in need. So the clothing, the money, and then the food and the repairs and uh, the benevolence, uh, many different ways. And I don't want us to overlook the spiritual impact too. So we're not only meeting physical and emotional mental needs of Alderson res residents but also their spiritual needs. And it is a big help to our community. We have a, a tremendous need for a lot of people in this community. In uh, 2011, we started a project called Amy's House. Uh, it's a, it's a, Amy is a 26-year-old uh, young lady with leukodystrophy who was living in a horrible condition, so not very far from Alderson. And uh, the work teams from out of the area, plus the local work teams, uh, spent nine months and built Amy a new home. Uh, the Alders Ministerial Association uh, contributed $6,000 in seed money. Uh, we were able to raise another $40,000, uh, a lot from local churches and, uh, and in the area, and we were able to complete Amy's uh, house in nine months. We thought it would take four years probably, but it was hundreds of volunteers and thousands of volunteer hours that just kept that project going, both out of state and local. It was a great uh, team, uh, team effort. Thank you all, and uh, we're really grateful. And we're going to keep doing what we're doing.